Hey everybody, I'm Casey Key for the host of Dropped on Outdoor Channel and Rival Wild on Sportsman Channel. And today I want to talk a little bit about one of the most innovative products for bow technicians that has hit the market recently. Um, for those of us that like to do a lot of work uh, on our own archery equipment, we've got our own pro shop set up maybe in our house, in a barn, in a basement, something like that. This press is a killer press. This is awesome for the individual guy that, that likes to do his or her own work uh, on their equipment, but it is also an incredible press for pro shops. And I'm gonna get into the details of why. There's a numerous reasons why this press is probably the best press that I've ever seen hit the market, but it is actually the Spike Press from Archery Tooling Corporation. This thing is just an absolute machine when it comes to versatility, ease of use, ease of setup right out of the box. All of these different things make the spike press truly the best press that I've ever seen hit the market. And I've used a lot of them over the years. This press is the one that I've been the most excited about. It's something that is super simple. Again, the spike press from Archery Tooling Corporation. George has put an incredible amount of thought into not only making this press versatile enough to work on all of the bows that currently exist today on the market, as well as crossbows, but he's made it versatile enough that it will be easily adaptable to anything that comes out in the future. With the pin retention system and just the way everything works, the spike press truly is the easiest, most versatile press that you're ever gonna use. So the first thing that I wanna to talk to you about is just how easy this spike press is to set up straight out of the box. When you get the spike press, everything is gonna be wrapped and packaged uh, and put in the box neatly so that nothing gets damaged during shipping. And you're gonna be able to actually utilize the spike press and begin using it, pressing bows, within five to eight minutes of getting this thing out of the box, provided you've got the workspace to do it. It's a super, super simple setup. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do when you get your spike press out of the box is obviously unwrap everything. It comes with uh, foam and cellophane wrapping. Get everything unwrapped, get all of your parts and pieces laid out. That should take, you know, not longer than a minute or two to do. Then the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is mount the press somewhere, okay? The press comes with 5 16 bolts, just like this. You're gonna to wanna to take the 5 16 bolts and there's two spots right down here on the base of the press that you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and mount the 5 16 bolts to. So drill a 3 8 inch pilot hole and simply mount the bolts. Now I've got these two bolts off to the side and I actually have it mounted a little bit differently just for illustration purposes because I didn't want to put these in the table. That's the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do. After you have it mounted, it's super simple. If you take a look at this side of the press over here, I actually have this side of the spike press already assembled. There's gonna be a couple of parts that come with the spike press that you're gonna to have to put in and then you're up and operational and ready to roll. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to put in is gonna be a limb guard, okay? This right here is the ATC limb guard. This is actually made of like a Delrin uh, material. That limb guard is simply gonna slide through a slot just like such, okay? That limb guard goes in there and you basically have a set screw that is gonna tighten and loosen that's gonna allow you to have adjustability on both of these limb guards. So that's the first thing that I like to go ahead and put in. Get the limb guard put in there. That's gonna keep the bow when it's under compression those limb guards are gonna keep the bow from shooting out of the press. So these are incredibly important to have in there. So you're gonna to wanna to put both limb guards in. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to put in is the pin retainers, okay? There's four pin retainers total. Now these come assembled in the box. Um, there's two lefts and two rights on the pin retainers. These come pre-assembled in the box. They've got their fine adjustment screws already in them which are right here on the back. You've got four fine adjustment screws. They've got two springs in them. Now these springs are crucial components, so you're gonna to wanna to be careful and make sure that these springs don't fall out. These springs just kind of run through like that, and what they do is they actually keep the pin retainers centered in this pocket, and they keep them continuously in the open position. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you keep these springs in here, and putting these pin retainers in is super simple. You simply push the retainers together, and then you're gonna to wanna to compress the springs. So let's get them together. Let's get the, the springs compressed. And then you're gonna slide them down in the pocket, okay? So you're just gonna take them and slide them right down in the pocket, just like such. Now, before you do that, you're gonna to wanna to take out the, uh, the shoulder bolts, excuse me. 
There are two shoulder bolts that run through here. As you can see, I've got the shoulder bolts in on this side, but these two shoulder bolts right here run right through this housing. So you're gonna to wanna to take those out, drop your pin guard, uh, your pin retainers down in there, and then you're gonna take these and you're simply gonna slide them back through and thread them on. So you're gonna do that on both sides. So now you will have, uh, you will actually have your limb guard inserted. Okay, and then you're gonna have your pin retainer system inserted. You're gonna put your shoulder bolts back through to keep that secured in the pocket. And then the last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and drop the hand wheel on. This hand wheel goes, there's a pin on this side over here that's got two flat spots where you're gonna to wanna to, uh, actually screw your set screws down in. So all you do is find the flat spots, line up the set screws and drop this on. Super simple, just like that. And then that acts as your hand wheel to lengthen and compress the entire system itself. That literally is the main setup of the spike press. If you can get that done, you'll have it done in five minutes. You are ready and operational to press a bow. So now that we've gone through all of uh, a couple of minutes worth of labor and we have our spike press mounted and set up and ready to go, I wanna to talk to you about what makes the spike press unique in the operational aspect of it and why it is so unique and great for pro shops because the spike press can be swapped out and changed in literally a matter of seconds, okay? The adjustability and the functionality of the limb retainers as well as the actual pins that come with it is just incredible. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the pocket. So if we look at this pocket over here to where we have these pin retainers, okay? You'll see and you'll notice that there's actually two holes on top and two holes on the bottom. The top two holes are straight holes and I'll use a straight pin to illustrate this. So if you look at this, you'll see that that is a perfectly straight hole as it exits the pin retainer. Now let's also take a straight pin and let's put it in the 20 degree offset hole. So if you take this and you look at that, you'll notice that that is actually kicked up at a 20 degree angle. That's important because the 20 degree angle is going to allow you to work on bows that are not beyond parallel. So if you have older equipment, you're able to use angled pins out of the angled slot. So the versatility of what you can work on is virtually limitless between the straight pin and, uh, excuse me, the straight hole and the offset 20 degree angle hole. Now on the back side of the pin retainers, there's fine adjustment screws. And what these fine adjustment screws are gonna do is they are going to allow you to actually change the position, if you see that moving in and out, they're gonna allow you to change the position of the pin in or out. So again, extremely adjustable, um, very well thought out. Now when it comes to adjusting in and out, you've got an adjustment knob right here that essentially, as you tighten this bolt, the position of the pin retainers changes. And because of the spring system, it allows the pin retainers to close as tight as you need them so that you've got a proper fit on the pins against the limbs or to back out and open up so that you can go wider if you need it. And that is literally the amount of adjustment that you need to work on any bow that's in existence today, as well as the adaptability and versatility to get new pins for any equipment that may be coming out in the future that we're not aware of yet. So going back to the versatility and the adjustability of the spike press, it truly is one press for every type of bow and you're able to switch back and forth in a matter of seconds. The next thing I wanna talk about is the pins themselves. The pins themselves come in a variety of configurations, I should say. The first ones that I wanna to talk to you about are these ones. These are the angled pins, okay? The angled pins are gonna be specific to at parallel or beyond parallel bows. Now you're gonna to wanna to use common sense when you're actually using the press and make sure that you're using the right piece of equipment, but they simply are gonna go in. You're gonna slide the pins in like such. Those are now in there. They cannot go anywhere, okay? You're gonna to wanna to take the other ones, slide it in on the other side, 
you come down here and you adjust your limb guards and you're basically ready to begin pressing the bow. Now, if you have a bow that may have a limb stop or something like that on it, they make a pin that does not have the L, okay? This is an angled L pin. This is a straight pin. This would be the pin that you would wanna use on the side of your bow that the draw stop lands on. So this is just as simple as swapping a screw out, sliding this one on, putting the screw in, and then you've got one side to fit the draw stop. Got the same on the other side. So you can put both of those on there. So super simple. So that is basically the at parallel and beyond parallel. Now there's a couple of uh, other pin systems here that we've got. We've got straight pins, okay, the straight pins. They're all color coordinated too, which is gonna be nice. The straight pins are actually blue. The angled pins are gonna be red. So you've got the L pins as well as the straight pins. So if you see again, if you're dealing with a limb stop uh, or something along those lines, you're able to swap this out, put this on the side of the limb stop and you are ready to rock and roll. So we've got the straight and angled, the blue and the red. And then next we've actually got Bowtech pins. So these are gonna be custom for Bowtechs. Uh, if you look at them, they actually utilize the pre-existing axle hole that is at the top of the limbs uh, on certain Bowtex. So again, these are just gonna slide right in, just like such. Boom, boom. You would make your fine adjustments if you needed to with your fine adjustment screws here in the back. Adjust your ATC limb guards, and you're ready to press the bow. So those are uh, Bowtech pins. And then finally, we've got uh, Matthews blade pins. So these ones right here are specific for, uh, you know, certain Matthews that are uh, the blade style pins. And again, the same thing. They slide right in, they drop right in like such, and now they can't go anywhere, do any fine adjustment that you need to in and out, or in and out this direction as well. Do the same thing on the other side, drop the bow in the press, and you are off to the races. So there it is, the spike press from Archery Tooling Corporation. The setup is incredibly easy when you get it, and the versatility and functionality of the press with every bow that exists today, as well as the adjustability to work with bows that come out in the future and technology that has yet to come, the spike press truly is unlimited. The amount of thought that has gone into the design and the ease of use, the quickness in which you're able to change setups. If you're a pro shop, you're working on five or six different styles of bow constantly you're able to swap pins in an instant and continue to move forward. And we didn't even touch on the crossbow. I personally am not a crossbow shooter, so I don't use my spike press with a crossbow, but the spike press is able to press crossbows. There are a few components that you would need in order to make that happen, but it absolutely is able to do everything. So when I say every bow that exists, I mean crossbows, I mean vertical bows, I mean all of it. So. If you guys have purchased one, good luck, have fun with it. Working on your own equipment is awesome. Uh, if you haven't purchased one, be sure to check out the spike press. You're gonna wanna go to archerybowpress.com and uh, check the spike press out. It truly is a revolutionary piece of equipment for archery technicians and bow technicians in today's world.